the other side of this that we can look at is if you choose to, you can keep track of the time that you don't spend with students. And that gives you an interface here. <clears throat> Again, no students to select here because we're talking about your time and not the time you spent with them. And it, all of the reasons here are uh, reasons that are listed in the Ask a National Model that you might do in support of students but not directly with them. So they fall typically under uh, system support. Some individual student planning activities fall under this category, school guidance curriculum, and one responsive service is peer facilitation. So the way that this works, uh, if you haven't done so already, you can put your name in here and it will remember that when you click on the save and close button. Um, but here, we don't have a timer for these, we just input the time each time because ostensibly you're going to do most of these things outside of your office. Um, so when you have, let's say you attend professional development for a day, you attended the ASCA conference, input the time, and you attended from 9 to 3.30. You can then just click OK and that gets recorded. Okay, if if you had the if the conference was for multiple days, you would have to put it in for for each days. Um, basically, that's all there is to using keeping track of time that you that you spend away from students, but in support of them. So, uh, what I will do in another video is demonstrate how to use all of the reports and the capabilities of what those reports can do.